This report really stemmed from the Chesapeake Bay Commission making a request to its Science and Technical Advisory Committee. And what they requested was um, conducting a technical review that had two prongs. First, looking at potential impacts of boat wake energy on shoreline erosion and ecosystems. And then the second piece, which is really where VCPC was involved, was to provide some policy options for dealing with those adverse effects. So boat wake erosion is an issue in the Bay, um, most importantly in the narrow waterways. So whenever a boat is passing through a narrow channel, there is not as much distance between the boat and the shoreline. So there's not as much time for the boat wake energy to dissipate before it reaches the shore. And it's a concern for the Chesapeake Bay program because it can really impede upon the restoration goals of the program, particularly um, goals related to habitat restoration and water quality improvement. So I think that was really the, um, the reason that the report was requested. All of the Bay States, Virginia, Maryland, and Delaware, have some sort of boat wake restriction policy in place, but I think it would be great um, to have a uniform policy in place baywide to provide some protection. Bottom line on the study is that it's, it's de apparently it is definitive that boat wake waves can cause shoreline erosion. Um, the thinking that, co that concluded from the study is that that's generally probably going to occur in shallower and narrower water bodies. But we don't know like how much if we needed to give a number like either baywide or on a watershed basis of how much sediment is being contributed just from boat waves, we're not in a position to be able to say that because we have not really, as a scientific community, we haven't gone out and looked for that effect. We haven't gone out and monitored specific movement of sediment in response to boats traveling along a shoreline. There are hundreds of thousands of boat owners and, you know, many people, boating is an important, you know, recreational activity in the, in the bay, in the bay waters. But I think that there's a, you know, there's a whole lot of water resource and so if we can find a way to, to balance those interests, then I think we'll, we'll achieve some benefit for the natural resource, you know, hopefully for the water quality and then the boaters will still be able to boat and have a good time on the water.